All right, guys, now we're going to continue part two of this t-shirt here, this party t-shirt, a friend of mine. We're going to come in with some shadows to create dimension. Uh, we're going to come in with some color and then finalize. We're going to come in with some highlights and then a little accents here and there to give everything a personality. Let's get started with some shadows. The front design has silver metallic paint, and we're going to do some silver shadows in here. We're going to come into the right of all our objects and create a nice solid light shadow with silver. This is a pearl silver, so it has a nice shimmering look to it. Real defined solid shadow line. Then we're going to come back in with the black and go into the silver with the black and dark the light. Okay, on our glass and all our glasses, make sure we got enough preliminary reflection, subtle shadow marks, reflection marks with the gray. That way we start coming over them with uh, some color, we got enough to work with to make it look somewhat like glass. Just make sure we got enough little reflection details. And basically what we're doing is just working this black paint to its fullest and maximizing it. We're turning it into charcoal gray. We're turning it into light grades. This black here is being maximized. Give a metal little look to the 21. All we're doing is going up right to the edge of the bevel with a controlled, controlled subtle dagger stroke. Fades coming in an angle consistently across. Okay. Clean up the Patron a little bit. Thicken it up. And let's start bringing in some color. So what we're going to do here is uh, come into our glass bottle with some our glass cups and bottles and shot glasses with some blue. On the right side. A little bit of brown on the left side. All we're doing here is creating uh, our reflection colors. And our reflection colors are going to be brown and blue. Okay, and come in over to this cork. Strong on the edge the outline and just fade into the inside. Outline it strong, fade it in on the inside. Simple as that. Some texture, some line work. Give these uh, little characters some red bloodshot eyes. Build up our whites real strong in all our bright areas. Start bringing in those highlights from the, from the glass creating. Reflections reflecting the light. Work again, we're working off of all the previous patterns and lines we did that kind of simulate glass, a glass surface. You guys need any help here? I'm just kind of looking. Check, check me out. Yeah, I'm here uh, filming live at my mall location, so I got customers here checking out the process.
highlights on the tee. Give us some cool green eyes. I think 13 and up. Again, live at our location answering questions and painting at the same time. Okay, if you need help, feel free to ask questions, okay? We're gonna get some yellow and come into the green there just like so. Really make these eyes pop. Bring some yellow into this cork. Okay. Bring some uh, color into these eyes right here. Some highlights. And again, just start highlighting that the glass areas. As you see, it really starts coming to life once you start bringing those, those white highlights. Just like so. And you can come up against the highlights with some solid blues. A little more pronounced on the definition of the line work. Instead of just shading, we're coming in a little stronger. Highlights on his eyes. Okay. And we're going to bring some light from the back. Create more contrast against all our imagery. some browns and create some nicer even sweeter blend transition I like the letters There you go, you got yourself a nice basic little party shirt. A little 20, you know, he's turning 21, he's gonna, gonna have a good time. He's for a good friend of mine. And uh, we put it together just like that. There's a lot of techniques on making glass look shiny. This is just a quick, easy kind of way, of, fast way of doing it. Um, we could spend a lot of time with going over lighting and color, but I just kind of want to show you just a quick way of making it happen. Uh, tune in for more videos, you guys know I keep them coming. But until next time you guys want to see more of my work, you can go to pureimagedesign.com. Again, this is Jaime Rodriguez signing off. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.